What's that now? Yeah, I've been told to come here from my boss in the office. Okay. Yes. Uh, you're to speak to the DPP? Uh, Nim Salimi, I don't know whether he will talk to me. Okay. Uh, Maybe right. let him address over the material issue because there is a wrong perception outside that he has approved charges against Matia. Mm -hmm. He'll advise. Yesterday night, we were holed up at Karen in the residence of the former CS for Interior with the allegations that he wanted to be arrested. We left there very early in the morning, around 5 in the morning, went to the office, made an application. We were at Milimani Court at exactly 8.30 in the morning. We did file a matter for anticipator of bail. The matter is pending directions before the, the High Court. We got wind again that the government has rushed to Kahawa Law Courts to, uh, to file a miscellaneous application to seek to detain the CS for 60 days. So we rushed here, the legal team here, we have confirmed that either the government has backed off uh, from uh, filing that application or if it has been filed it has been hidden and the government has confirmed that there is no such application that has been filed so we as the defense team we are still prepared as we said to deal with this matter in our lawful manner but if they are filing out that miscellaneous to detain the cs for 60 days we will fight it within the legal means so for now I can conclusively say that uh, we have been told that there is no such miscellaneous application or if the intention was there, that intention to file it has been withdrawn. The matter has already uh, presented uh, uh, information is that uh, what is happening, the former CS interior, Dr. Matiangi, is uh, being sought for. Last night we kept vigil at his place uh, till this morning. Uh, we are here to just confirm or we came to represent uh, the CS if there was to be any filing of any miscellaneous application uh, which we were told initially that uh, they had moved the court and they are seeking for 60 days uh, detention so that they can do their investigations. Now uh, we have uh, met the uh, the director of uh, public prosecutions himself has confirmed to us that there is nothing actually what they are having is uh, some internal affairs with the dpp and uh, some multi agencies and uh, therefore in uh, the kahawa law courts there is none there's nothing uh, that has been filed here in uh, in uh, in uh, anticipation that uh, the cs is going to be processed so that is what we want to tell the world that uh, what is only pending before a court of law is that miscellaneous application that we filed in the High Court seeking for uh, anticipatory bail uh, as we even present the CS to any other uh, multi agency for whichever investigations that uh, those uh, teams may want to get from him while he was serving the office. Uh, basically, if you look at the history of the CS Matiang, he executed the office the responsibility and the calling of his office we in a meticulous manner he was very very instrumental in the just uh, ended government of the his excellency uh, the honorable huru Mugai kenyatta and uh, you know that is why he was uh, uh, you know called as a super minister now what is happening now is that they are doing a, what we can call as a witch hunt because we do not know who is uh, presenting uh, whatever allegations that they are presenting with the police or with the ESCC or any other multi-agency team that is in involved in uh, marshalling the officers who are at the, uh, uh, the home of uh, the CS last night. So it is a game of uh, uh, musical chairs where we do not know because no, no uh, agency has come uh, up front to say that indeed they are the ones who are uh, looking for the CS and they are the ones who want him to record a statement in terms of what they are investigating about. So this is uh, what I can say, witch hunt. It is uh, an arbitrary way of doing things. And it is uh, a wake-up call to 
even the sitting uh, CSs, that they should do things while knowing that the power is transient. But that power, when it's transient, it does not mean that you become, you know, you, you, wherever, whenever you have left the office, someone can come and arbitrarily uh, take decisions which harm the execution and calling of the office. We want to thank one, the Director of Public Prosecution, one Mr. Nurdin Haji, who when we came here at Kawa Law Courts, he was holding the Attorney General, uh, a meeting with the Attorney General of, of Somalia, with all his team here. He came out, he addressed us, he assured us that there is no criminal charges that have been presented to him in regard to one, the CS Matiangi. Such is equality of a public servant who understands how sensitive this matter has become to the whole world. Therefore, I wish to assure everybody and those ones who are worried that the Director of Public Prosecution, one Mr. Nurudin Haji, has confirmed to us that there is no miscellaneous application and there is no criminal file that has been presented to his office in regard to one CS Matian.